Um, thank you for joining. Um, I come to you with not great news. Um, the market has changed, as you know, and uh, we have to move with it in order to survive so that hopefully we can continue to thrive and deliver on a mission. This isn't news that you're going to want to hear, uh, but ultimately it was my decision and I wanted you to hear from me. It's been a really, really challenging decision to make. I've, this is the second time in my career I'm doing this and I do not, do not want to do this. The last time I did it, I cried. Um, this time I hope to be stronger, but we are laying off about 15% of the company. You gotta the market, be kidding me. Efficiency and performances oh, and productivity. So all we did for the company? If you're on this call, you are part of the unlucky group. Fuck you, dude. That is being laid off. Your employment here is terminated, effective immediately. What does this mean for what's next? You're going to get an email from HR, askhr at better.com, and your benefits. For all U.S. employees, we're this providing four weeks. This is not real. Oh my God. I can't believe this. One month of full benefits and two months oh. of COBRA for which we will pay the premium. So three months total benefits if we, um, if you elect for COBRA. This is not real. Oh, Thank no. you for this each and every one of your individual me. contributions to better. I wish the news was different. I wish we were thriving I can't believe enthusiastically this. as we were oh. at the beginning of this year. That's not the case. And I am sure you will leave us and this is not be real. more successful, more fortunate. After and all we did luck here in your next endeavor. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you for everything you've done for better. Thank you. What's up YouTube? Now getting straight into this, assuming that this is a real video. Uh, and I only say that because I have never personally seen, I have never personally seen an employer terminate several employees or notify employees of a termination through a Zoom call like that. But assuming that this is a real, you know, authentic company, which I couldn't get the name of the company just by watching the clip, assuming, but just assuming this is a real situation, guys, you know, this is why it's important. To get marketable skills or if you're not going to get marketable skills at least get in a company that is a reputable company you know what i mean that you can see yourself working there long term over a course of 20 years right you know these a lot of people they get into these insurance businesses they get into these real estate businesses things happen the market does change businesses a lot of private businesses close down or they have to restructure right they have to restructure their their organization to meet certain needs for the company to adapt to a market right and unfortunately the result is that some people are let off you know now where does that put these individuals like the person who is uh recording where does that put that individual as the employee well now you're gonna have to get back out there on indeed.com you're gonna have to get back out there on glassdoor and you're going to have to sell yourself an interview and find another job. You know, the only way I can see avoiding this situation is to get one, a trade, a skill, something that no matter where you go, even if you had to go to another country, you will have another job such as electrician, plumber, CDL driver, landscaper, brick mortar, skills that are needed in today's society, right? Elevator technician, or you can get, you know, a secure job, big name brand companies, Coca-Cola, Tesla, Porsche, government jobs, you know what I mean? Those are secure jobs, and, and, you know, in my opinion, that can prevent this from happening. Now, these guys, you know, just from watching the clip, I can tell that this is obviously the bottom line that this company is shaving off, right? 
So your janitors, possibly some insurance agents or some receptionists, you know, hey, I don't know what kind of business this is, but I'm assuming along the lines of those blue collar jobs, those are the guys that are getting let go. This is why it's important, guys, uh, for professional development. This is why it's important to, you know, invest in skills, some kind of education, so that you don't have to worry about an employer telling you through a Zoom call that, hey, your livelihood may change. Now, I heard the employer mention something about uh, eBenefits, which is a portal for uh, government jobs. You know, so I'm thinking that this may be some kind of federal contractor of some sort. But I just thought it was a, a interesting video to see, you know, very unfortunate. But this is the reality, guys, for a lot of people uh, who they dedicate all these years, you know, to a, a low ranking position in a private company and things happen, you know, employers, you know, they reserve the right to restructure their organization as needed, you know, with this whole, uh, you know, mandatory jab and, you know, this uh, new variant that's coming around and we're seeing it in different states, things will continue similar to what I just showed you in the clip. You will see people getting laid off again and they're going to probably have to bring, if that happens, they're going to probably have to bring back the stimulus packages. They're going to have to bring back the apartment moratorium back. And so it's just, it's not going to be a fun time for these individuals that didn't take time to invest in their careers to at least make sure that if you're going to work for a private company, that you're at least high enough, high enough on the chain of command so that that way when the restructuring does happen, your likelihood of being laid off goes down significantly, right? But that's just my two cents, guys, on this. I could be wrong about this, but I don't think I am. Let me know what you guys think in the comments box below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel for more content.